What's up guys and welcome <laughs> to Raising Swallowtails. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Swallowtails are my favorite butterfly. Um, monarchs obviously have a big place in my heart, but um, yeah, so let's get into it. <laughs> it all started on a sunny August morning. And this feels like a Disney movie intro. Anyways, we found a bunch of caterpillars on our parsley, but my brother was convinced the little black ones were moths of some sort. So we just ended up bringing in this big guy that we could identify as obviously a swallowtail. And as soon as we brought him inside, he started crawling up the siding of the enclosure. And that's usually a sign that they uh, are heading up to the top to make their chrysalis, at least with monarchs. So I said, no, 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 not today, little sir, you are too small for that. Because sometimes if they're stressed, they'll force themselves. Ah, there it is. These guys have horns. But if they are stressed, they will sometimes crawl up and force themselves into a chrysalis. And he was way too tiny to do that and actually succeed and survive. So he said, no, 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 you are going back on the plant. But as you can see, we also brought in those little black caterpillars because um, after Googling it, that's what they look like on the first instar. As you can see, we uh, put some parsley in a little pot and then brought it inside, but here's what they look like when they get a little bigger. He was all black yesterday, so it's crazy. It goes from yeah. looking, it's like spiky and dark and yeah. with the white in the middle. And then this guy's like starting to get more green, but he's still spiky. That's cool. And then this guy's. So after we found the first guys on the parsley, then my mom called me out and said she found a bunch of them on the fennel as well. So I moved these guys in the window. At first I was gonna leave the window open, but then it looked like it was gonna blow them all away. I should probably count how many are on here at this point. Got one two seven eight nine so i believe we have nine swallowtails we found another this morning i'm just gonna let them get sun for like 15 minutes or so because oh it looks like they're wiggling it looks like they like it they'd be out there on the sun in the sun <laughs> if i didn't bring them in so maybe i should open the window a little bit though I just don't want them to straight up cook, because they'd have a breeze outside. Mm. Okay, I opened it just enough so that you can see there's a, there's a little breeze coming in. There we go. Yeah, that should be good, right? A little airflow. I'm just going to leave them here for like 15 minutes or so, so that they can get a little sun. I feel bad, because like, it's shaking quite a bit, but like... It's, it's a windy day out, so like you guys would be really struggling if I hadn't brought you inside, so you're welcome. <laughs> also, I lied. I just found a tenth one. Oh, sorry, buddy. On this leaf. So we have got ten swallowtails. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. And while they're over there, I'll take this opportunity to clean up because they have pooped everywhere. Well, actually, just just there. So that's nice. Okay, I moved them to the kitchen sink because it's still sunny but less intense. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let them hang out there for like half an hour or something and let the plant get some sun. This is parsley if I didn't already say that. Out. Yeah. over here. Oh. Doing a little photo op? I was letting the plant get sun. Oh. So, a little change of plants. <laughs> or, or plants. <laughs> So I realized the little plant was wilting too much, so I just brought in the whole big plant that we found him on. 
but I moved everybody over. So, big guy, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> so yeah, and now I'm going to leave them alone. <laughs> I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, uh, eight, nine. Huh, okay, alright. So, I don't know, I found nine. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just kind of letting them do their thing, I don't know. But they all are getting very big and changing a lot. So that's good. Except for this little guy. This little guy hasn't like moved or changed or much, so. But there's poop everywhere, so. They're all so big, oh my god. Because they are big now, <laughs> I counted a total of eight. Um. But this little guy hasn't grown or moved off that leaf, so I think it's safe to say that he's no longer with us, considering everyone else is so big. But we've lost count of two, so I think that means, including the little guy that looks dead, I think we lost three of them. Let me check this pot, maybe. Oh, it's a heavy one. Do we have anyone making a chrysalis? No. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Nine. Okay. All right. Okay. So I think I I think I found them all then. These guys are making me like dislikes. I don't even. Okay. This is why I'm just leaving them alone. But I just gave them a little spritz. They all hated it so much. Um, but they don't want to get off the plant. So. Oh, come on. I thought this guy was dead, but he he moved. So, um, oh my god, but, but he moved, okay, okay, you, you just do your thing, oh my gosh, so big, the plant is not doing super though, so I might swap it out. Okie dokie, so we've got this guy venturing off, uh, I don't know if he's just looking for other food, because this, wow, they've eaten a lot of it, and a lot of it's dying off, because it has not, not been in the sun, so, um, I'm gonna go see, um, if that other little pot that I had in here first, uh, is, like, healthy outside, I think, I think that, that died outside too, um, if not, I'm going to bring in the fennel plant because I do not want them to be hungry. What you doing, crazy? What you doing? Oh, oh. Swing it over here. Hey, hey, and swing it over there. Oh, hey. Swing it over here. Hey, hey, and swing it over there. Oh, yeah, do it for me. And swing it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go get you guys more food. Okay, so the fennel doesn't look like amazing either, but there's definitely some stuff for them to eat. So I'm going to put this in there. I think I'm just going to put them both in there. So hopefully they will just move right over. Um, and then there's like, I don't know. We, we planted a bunch of seeds in this pot. So I don't know. I don't know what this is. But yeah, so here's some new food for them. Hopefully you guys like it. Oh wow, little guy, you've you've moved. So I guess wow. I'm really glad I didn't like just toss you out as as terrible as that sound. Like I, I thought you were dead. Um it's just everyone everyone else is huge. He's crossing the fennel bridge. He's crossing our person over. He's crossing the fennel bridge. Look. Oh my god. I bent one over so that they would like smell it. 
Ellie's oh, on the look bridge. Look how big he is. Yeah. You decided you're gonna make your chrysalis today? Is that what you're doing? Is that what's going on? Looks like you've got a little anchor. What all you guys think about that? Looks like you're uh, you're not taking it well. <laughs> you're so big. How are you not going in a chrysalis? Uh, I guess you're next, huh? The baby little guy here. And this guy. Oh, and then there's one guy over there. I think that's all that's left in there. Yes, yeah, so we got three here, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just will not focus on this guy. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. It's still so tiny. Okay, so the day has come. They are getting their eviction notice from the parsley. <laughs> eviction notice on the pose. Okay. Thinking I'm just gonna pull this out and yeah. then I'll pull everybody That's a off. Good idea. Sticking his little red horns out. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he's holding on to two? Are you serious, bud? Do you think this is a bogo? Oh, he's holding on to one with his back legs. Okay. Oh, no, don't grab onto that one. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> you just go right on there. Should I just handle him? Mm. Yeah. Come here. Like never handle them, so I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Hi. Probably won't even focus on him, but okay, we're gonna go on some fennel. Go on, it's tasty. <laughs> go on, buddy. There you go. Yeah. There we go. All right. How many more do we got? We got this little guy. I'm just gonna. He's still real tiny. I know. I don't know what his deal is. There you go. Hopefully, he doesn't fall. Okay. Anybody else lingering? Hello. Anybody in there? Um, they camouflage so well all the time. I feel like I'm on an episode of, like, Elmo. Do you see any caterpillars in the pond? <laughs> I can't find any. Um, should we do a, a head count on here? I wonder if that little one actually hatched in there. No, because I was watching him. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, probably some camouflaged in there somewhere. Yeah, there's probably another one lingering. I think I was like counting wrong the first day anyway. There might have only been eight, and I counted nine, and then for some reason later said. Ten. Maybe counted one twice. <laughs> yeah, I think there might have only been eight to begin with. I don't know. Well, we'll find out when we get all these butterflies. <laughs> right, when there's chrysalis. Okay. So you picked okay. this one pretty clean. Yeah, so let's bring it outside so it can plump up again. Oh, yeah, I found a dead one. I, I literally just said, like, there isn't any dead ones, but there's one. It's right there. Is it little? It's pretty little, yeah. I remember like doing a head count and seeing this like size. Uh, you one sure that down is? Here. It's not a poop? 
No, that's definitely like a whole caterpillar. I don't know if I'm getting it on video. Where's yeah. my finger? Well, they don't there. all make it. Yeah. We've been fortunate. Yeah. Well, I well I thought like there was one missing or something. Yeah, that's definitely a dead one. But it's not like they were in the sun. No. Like he yeah, he all looks. The other ones are thriving. He well. looks cooked, even though he's not. So. Well, he might have been dead for a little while and he's dehydrated. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that would make sense, because I think there's eight inside, and that would make nine, and I think there was nine. That's a pretty good percentage of making it. Now it's back outside so that it can be food for them again. Yeah, I think the kid didn't know he's supposed to take the flaps on the outside. Okay, so he took, wow. It took like two days, sorry, I'm, I'm eating mashed potatoes because my mom just came in and told me that this guy had started f like forming the chrysalis and yeah, wow, um, he took forever. He hung there for like a day and a half just looking like a caterpillar and now all of a sudden, bam. But swallowtails are cool, they do like an extra cross, like hang where monarchs hang their little booties from the top or whatever, and that's, oh, well, I could show you. Monarchs just hang themselves from this one point. They go up and put their butt there and, you know. But these guys, like, I think that's where he put his butt. And then, I don't know, they like, he's like hanging out there. And then as you can see, there's like the cross. Yeah, I don't know, super cool though, wow. I wonder if I, I think it's gonna turn brown. I think it turns brown, so let's check in on the other guy. Yeah, like the other guy looked like this for a while. Yeah, that's his butt. <laughs> so weird. Looks like you guys don't have much fennel left. <laughs> uh huh. So, well, that's not great. <laughs> Oh, well, there's a little bit of new growth. Okay, <laughs> well, um, we got this, so that's good. <laughs> well, I only see four on here. And one chrysalis, two chrysalis, and three. So that makes seven. I thought we had eight. I just realized, I think all oh, this is fennel, but it has flowers, so I don't know if they still eat it when, when it's flowered. It doesn't seem like it, but I, I think they have more food than I thought they did, so they get a few extra little leaves now. You know, they're, they're good. They're good. Okay. All right, it appears it's time for a head count. We got one, two, six. Oops. Little guy's still little. We've got seven and eight. So, yeah, I think that was all of them because we found the ninth one dead. Mm. So, yeah, I think that's all of them. The only one left eating is this little guy who's been taking his sweet time. Um, yeah, so it's just him and this guy that are still not in a chrysalis. And then other than that, it's just waiting for them to hatch. But this guy, look at that color. Wow, he molted out of his little black skin finally. So that's cool. I didn't realize he would like molt out of the skin. That's the first time I witnessed that. Um, so yeah, I gotta get you some more food, little buddy. So he has, there is a little bit of new growth for him. And these guys, I wonder if they're gonna stay green to like stay blending in with the with the plant that'd be interesting because these guys wow very very dark but they're all doing well okay so i was gonna film a clip saying how i thought these guys were gonna winter over but um hello you're beautiful okay wow um okay <laughs> Where did you come from? Can you tell which chrysalis it came out of? Was it one of the green ones? 
Um, where did you come from? Because these chrysalis are still intact, so where did you come from? Where was it hiding? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Count the chrysalis. Hold, hold, hold on a minute. There must be one hiding in there. Um, we're gonna do a head count. Okay. One, two, and these are still in chrysalis. And we've we've got three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So wait a minute. I thought there was nine. Or I thought there, were, then I thought there was 10, but then I realized there was nine, but then we found the dead one. So, I'm, where did, where did this come from? Okay, okay, well, I was just, um, I was just doing some succulent planting and was gonna like clean myself up and do a segment saying how last night um, I Googled it and um, swallowtail chrysalis, for some reason this kind can like winter over and like hibernate through the winter and then come out in the spring. And I Googled it last night cause I'm like, these guys are taking like a little while in here. So I was Googling it and it said that every time that they winter over that the chrysalis is brown that the chrysalis can be either green or brown because I also wanted to make sure that they were healthy colors. They can be green or brown. Some will say that they're trying to be chameleon and try and blend in with their surroundings, but apparently it's genetically determined because then I think it's genetically determined whether they winter over or not. But um, yeah, I just um, wasn't expecting that. I was gonna say that they might um, take until spring, but I guess not. But where did that come from? Wow. Yeah, I mean, I think it's female because I think that blue means that it's female, but I'll triple check. Oh my gosh, you came out for me to take a picture of you with my eyelashes. That is so, you are so nice. Wow. Love that for me. <laughs> wow, welcome to the world. Welcome to the world. Oh. You like my hair? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea when she came out, but she is flying and crawling all over my room. <laughs> so I have a feeling she's ready to skedaddle. Look at her. Oh, okay. You wanna go over to the butterfly garden? Oh. It's a little windy. Just hang on. <laughs> I'll bring you to a flower, darling. Just hold on. I'm not trying to keep her. I'm just trying to block the wind so she's not like getting rocked. <sighs> Come here. Go on up. There you go. There you go. So pretty. Enjoy. Oh, there she goes. Now she's eating. She flew to a different one. Yay! I wanted to make sure she ate. Yay! Look at you eating! Yeah, there's probably not much left in that flower, but... There you go, girl. After some searching, I finally found the empty chrysalis that he came out of. So, and like the little, his little head that he shed when he formed it and everything is right there. Get the focus on it. See, that's where he shed his little skin, head, whatever. Oh wow, he just came out. feeling you were coming out. Oh, this one I think is definitely female. Looks like very blue. Still drying your wings. Looks like you got them like inside out. What's going on? Why do you got them inside out? <laughs> this one's like inside out. Just relax. All right. 
They're like flipped backwards. Okay, see you later. So they are um, like immediately not very social. Like it's not like a matter of like, oh, her wings are dry and she's ready to fly. Like she's just, they're just not very social compared to the monarchs. But look at this butterfly. Are you kidding me? So, I thought the last one was female, um, but now I'm thinking that one was male and this is female because the lighting is terrible in here. From the descriptions online and stuff, the females have less yellow and more blue, and the males have more yellow and less blue, and this girl has way, like barely any yellow. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. This is um, definitely one of the prettiest butterflies I've ever held. The colors are insane. Oh my gosh. Well, that makes two. <laughs> Tatum needs a bath. Okay. There's a lot going on here. Okay. It's on my lashes. So this is where we're at. <laughs> Came to take pictures. And it's literally holding on to my eyelash. Oh, don't get on my hair. There you go. Okay. Whew, okay. Just so crazy, so blue, so little yellow. She's just, she's just perfect. It's time to let the girl go. She's ready to go. So, here we go. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I can try and go catch it, but I think it's going for the trees. Okay, so yesterday afternoon, we let go of um, the gorgeous butterfly we had because me and mom were going to um, like this lights event. You'll probably see a video about it. But when we came back, another butterfly had come out. She came out, or he, I don't know, came out of this one. Which, um, yesterday I had noticed it was getting pretty dark, so yeah. But she's still dripping, even though she's been here since, like, 10 o'clock last night. What makes me sad is, I think this is a male, and yesterday we let go of a female, and so if I had just left her in the cage last night... I don't know, we could we could have had some more eggs and caterpillars and stuff. But I wasn't sure when this guy was gonna come out, so but yeah, he's still very much wet. Very much dripping. Oh okay, where'd you go? Oh okay, okay. Okay. These guys are silly. If anyone's wondering, this guy's still in here, eating. This was a was a big, long, big, it was like up here yesterday, so he ate a lot. So he still had plenty of food. So because it's been raining, I didn't let the third butterfly that came out um, free yet because I thought it'd be mean to let it out when it's raining. But um, another one came out. Oh, see, yeah. There's the one that we've had for a little bit now. I put, we had these like rotting oranges <laughs> and it's a bowl of sugar water, but she doesn't, or he doesn't seem to want to eat it. I don't know why. Just like walk over there, it's food. Just get up on the orange. Yeah, she wants to go. Okay, well, this is the current situation, so, okay. <laughs> Finally got them to calm down. I 
think the ring light makes them chill. Oh, it's climbing up my lips. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so shortly after I put them back in the enclosure after taking pictures with them, a third little friend, we're right there, yeah, a third little friend came out. Um, so I've just been letting them all dry together until I could determine if um, it was female, but I think it's another male. So. <laughs> But as you can see, I changed my clothes because I took the plant and um, the oranges and everything out because the third guy that just came out was the last guy that was um, in a chrysalis on the fennel plant. And this guy was heading up to the top like he wanted to make his chrysalis. So like as soon as he got off the plant, I scooped him up and put him in here in case he winters over. So that way I can um, break this down when everyone else finishes coming out. Because we've got one, two, and three left. But this guy was the first one to go in. So uh, the fact that he's not out yet makes me a bit worried that, um, that he's going to winter over. <laughs> And my only concern with that is that I just don't know how to safely move these chrysalis um, because I just don't want to have to have this tent popped up all winter. You get, yeah, okay. But anyways, now that I have taken the plant out of here, it's outside to get some more sun, now I can move the tent around, like easier at least. So now I can bring these guys safely like outside with the whole net and everything, so yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so this is officially the craziest thing of my life. I'm gonna try and take some pictures. What a time to be alive, am I right? Too bad they're all male. Every single one. There you go. Look at him drinking. He's drinking the sugar water. See him eating off Very my finger. Cool. It is release time. Thought it would be easier to just bring the whole thing out instead of trying to individually take them out. Because there's still chrysalis in there. Yeah. I'll bring them right over to the flowers. Ooh, look at all the butterflies here already. <laughs> might still want me to like grab them out but I think they're ready just put them over these flowers <laughs> go on the flowers didn't you guys see the flowers okay Apparently they want a hand. Then cooperate. I'm trying to help you. There you go. There's one. Come on, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. There's Ooh. another. Here comes number three. Flew up to meet it. Oh, look at that. Well, now we just got the chrysalis left. I'm gonna do some homework to see if I can like safely remove these. But um I guess I think I think that's the end of the video. I'm really excited. Yeah, we have three chrysalis left and we still have the caterpillar inside. Um, but if I don't wrap this video up now, it'll go on forever. It might not end until the spring. <laughs> we'll keep you guys updated on the rest of the chrysalis and the 
caterpillar that we have in the upcoming videos. But yes. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. And happy swallowtailing. Or something. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>